lovely. So today what I'm going to be doing is the Mix Girl tag. I'm doing this video because a lot of you guys wanted to know what I mix with, even though I just said in my first video that I made what I was. But today I'm going to do it again. So I'm here with my trusty iPad again, as you guys already know. And I'm going to be reading the questions of the Mix Girl tag. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, what are you mixed with? I am black, white, and Greek. The second question is, what ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Uh, a lot of people think that I'm like Puerto Rican and like Mexican and stuff. I don't know why. I don't think I look like that, but they always mistake me for that all the time. So, yeah. The third question is, is your hair curly or straight wavy? My natural hair is curly, very curly. The next question is, was coming from a different background challenging growing up? Me personally, growing up in elementary school and middle school, I felt like I didn't really fit in. And by that, I mean, I felt like I didn't really fit in any type of race. When I tried to fit in with the white people, I was too black. And when I tried to fit in with the black people, I was too white. I felt like I just did not fit in at all with any race. So I was sitting here confused, like, who the fuck do I hang out with? Yeah, that's what I've experienced being mixed in elementary and middle school. High school, it's not as bad anymore. Like, you know, I, I get along with all kinds of races. All right, so the next question is, have you ever been teased for being different? Of course, y'all know me, of course. Hell yeah, I've been teased for being different. I've been teased for lots of things. Um, even when I didn't identify as anything back in the day, they used to always pick on me. They used to call me gay, faggot, and all that. You know? So I was picked on to a certain degree, but I don't think I was ever picked on for being mixed. Like I wasn't never. No, that's fine. The next question is, have you ever been ashamed for being multiracial? Um, I honestly can say I have. Like when I was younger, I feel like this is like a lot of, you know, black people's struggles too. When being white is so pushed on like it was back in the day, I was like lucky kind of brainwashed. Like I would always think of myself as white. Like when people ask me like what color I was, I would say I am white and brown. I would never say black. I don't know why. Like I just I just got into this like white person phase. Obviously all the white kids in my school would be like, oh my God, I want blue eyes. I hate my brown eyes. Oh, I want white skin. I hate my my type of skin, da, da 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 So yeah, I did kind of face a little bit of identity issues back in the day, but as I started getting older, I do feel more confident, and you know, being colored is just, being colored is the best thing ever, honey. So shout out to the colored people. Y'all know what we go through, and yes, we are winning. And honestly, all shades are winning too, but you know what I mean. The next question is, which backgrounds do you embrace the most? Now, I personally feel like I embrace more of my black side. Ever since I started getting older, I've just been so fascinated with like black culture and just what it means to be black. So yeah, I feel like I have definitely embraced more of my black side. Okay, so the next question is, do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? Most definitely. I've, just like I said, with society, being mixed is just the wave. I don't know, people just love, they just don't know. Like a lot of people are attracted to being mixed, mixed people. A lot of people like want mixed babies, so. It does have its benefits, definitely. People just, they love it. The next question is, what makes being multiracial a beautiful thing? I would say being biracial is very beautiful because it's just, there's so many cultures that you're from. Just the fact that there's so many different races and ethnicities that you just contribute into one person. It's crazy that you can create one person and that person has multiple cultures, multiple ethnicities. It's just very crazy. So I think that's a beautiful thing. The last question is, any advice to someone who struggles with multiracial identity? I would just say be you, just embrace it because it is a beautiful thing and we all are different in the world and that's what makes us beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to be different, all kinds of races mixed into one and yeah. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe to my channel to be a part of the family. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for 100K. I really appreciate the support and I love you guys all. I want you guys to comment down below and tell me what race you guys are. Let's all be a family. Let's all share our cultural differences and let's vibe y'all bye lovelies <laughs>